Good afternoon, my name is Pop. I'm making a video tutorial about Unicenta, the touchscreen enabled cash register point of sale program. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the restaurant module. The restaurant module has got the floor of a restaurant with tables on it, and you can put in your own picture with your own number of tables with how many ever chairs are at each table, and you can use this program for a restaurant very very well. I'm going to show you a trick in this video how you can not only designate a sale for a table but also for each chair at each table. And that might be useful if you have a waiter with a poor memory who has a very very busy schedule. Sometimes when you're at a restaurant the waiter will bring the wrong person the tea that was ordered at that table and such things as that. And here's a way you can do this. I'm going to now have a couple come into table one and I'm going to tap on this. And this couple is on a date. And the way I do it is very tricky. I've got chair one, that's the lady. And everything in the restaurant is now an auxiliary item. And I have got everything in the restaurant as an auxiliary item pointing to the parent in chair one. And this lady says I would like to have a drink and fries and a burger and she wants a veggie burger on wheat and she wants it medium and she would like to have hot sauce, ketchup, mayo and onions. And the gentleman he says he would like to have something similar. He would like to have a drink, fries, make it two. He would like to have a burger with double cheese and double meat and he wants to have this burger on white and he would like to have it cooked rare and he wants pickles and onions and mustard and ketchup. And so I want to read it back to them. Now there's two icons up here for printing it before closing out the ticket. In other words, before it's paid for. This one just prints it out and this one sends it to the kitchen. I don't want to send it to the kitchen yet so I'm going to just print it out. And I'm going to read from the exact order that the kitchen's going to get. I can alter it. And here's chair one, the lady. She said uh, she wanted a drink, fries, burger, veggie, wheat, medium, and she wants hot sauce, ketchup, mayo, and onions. She says, you know, I'd like to get rid of the onions. She's on a date after all. So you go back up here and you go to uh, table one and you're going to go up to chair one and you're going to find onions and you're going to delete onions, but I want to go back up within chair one and then I ask her again well besides the onions would you like to have anything else yeah double pickles and she's got double pickles so everybody's happy with their order now I send it to the kitchen the order is sent to the kitchen now I'm gonna to go to the printer again and I'm going to go to the kitchen printer screen and this is what the kitchen gets there's one criticism of this and I'll point that out. In your kitchen, you may not have the kitchen staff doing the drinks. The waiter might be doing that. So you can remove that drink from what gets printed to the kitchen pretty easy. I'll show you that in just a second. But see it's divided up into chair one. That's going to be on one plate. And then here's chair two. That's going to be on another plate. If you go to stock and go to drinks, there's a check mark in drinks and it says when you do an order, anything that's printed gets sent to the kitchen. If you want to, you can just remove that and there on after, nothing gets sent to the kitchen. Well, let's go back up. You're waiting on other tables, but guess what? There's a little drama on table one. Oh dear me, they just had a spat and they want to split the order. The lady, she wants to leave. 
she's going to pay for her own meal chair one so you're going to highlight where it says chair one and if you move that line all the subsidiary lines in chair one will also move over and she said I'm out of here gracious she did leave a tip she gives you 20 bucks you give her change she's almost crying you don't know what to say it's like a soap opera now this poor schmuck he's just sitting there looking and feeling like a fool but guess what you want to give him another drink after all he can drown his sorrows in coca-cola now he's ready to leave he's finished eating he's had two drinks he gives you a 50 he doesn't leave a tip and he's gone let's look at the two tickets now that that's what got sent to the kitchen but here are the two invoices this is the second one he paid 1326 and here's his second drink there's his first drink and here's the ladies invoice she was in chair one and th those are all the things she got and remember she had her onions removed now the way I did this is pretty slick in products I made chair one not an auxiliary and chair two not an auxiliary but everything else everything else is an auxiliary product and I went over to auxiliary products and here when I pull up chair one you will see that there are 17 items under chair one everything I've got on the menu in fact and if I go to chair two it's a duplicate and I would have to do this again for chair three and chair four and if there are six chairs at the table I'd have to have six chairs now this is a method that is a workaround for being able to divide up a bill at a table I do not know of any method as of yet how you can merge two checks into one that is a deficiency of the program uh, when you go to sales here and normally if you do not have this trick of using auxiliaries and subsidiary products if you go up here and take something out you can't go to a line right here and put something back in in between two lines you get the new item added to the end well this is very much like Captain Ahab hunting whales in Moby Dick by Herman Melville he was arguing with Starbuck about the best method and he said Starbuck the best way to do this is to just kind of wander around on the ocean being mindful of looking for whales and you'll eventually find them in other words the be best method for using unicenta point of sale is not a logical sequence but just goofing around with it here and there until you finally learn everything there is to know about the program so I did kind of sort of go out of sequence here but I'm going to come back and I'll show you all of the other things my name is pop and this is unicenta point of sale touch screen enabled cashier program good for restaurants thank you very much